Hello everyone, my name is Sergey. I'm a communications manager at Only Office, and today I'm going to tell you about our open source office suite called Only Office Docs and all the new features that you can find in the recently released version 7.2. Let's get started. In a nutshell, only Office Docs is a powerful online office suite with collaborative editors for text documents, spreadsheets, presentations, fillable forms and PDF files. The Only Office editors offer the highest compatibility with the Microsoft Office formats and are available on all platforms including web, desktop and mobile devices. Only Office Docs easily integrates with popular document management systems and cloud storage solutions like Nextcloud, OwnCloud, Cfile, WordPress, Redmine, Moodle, Alfresco, Confluence and SharePoint. Moreover, due to its open API and VOPI support, Only Office Docs is built into more than 200 web services all over the world. Only Office Docs is available as community edition, which is free and comes with the full set of editing features. The scalable Only Office Docs Enterprise Edition offers professional support and regular updates. For software developers who want to embed Only Office Docs into their web services, there is also a special edition. Only Office Docs is open source solution and its source code is publicly available on GitHub. The deployment of Only Office Docs is easy due to various installation options including DEB, RPM, Tokka, Snap, UCS, Cloudron, AMI, DigitalOcean, OneClick App, Kubernetes, etc. Now that you know what only Office Docs is and what unique features it has, let's have a deep look at what's new in version 7.2. One of the most important improvements in this release is Live Viewer. The Live Viewer feature allows you to see all the changes made by other co-authors in real time, even if your document is opened for viewing only. This option is enabled by default and works in documents opened in read-only mode. To disable Live Viewer, open the File tab and click Advanced Settings. Find the Collaboration section and uncheck the Show Changes from Other Users box. When it comes to form creation, Only Office Docs also has some interesting new features. Let's discover them. Starting from version 7.2, you can add new field types to your fillable forms. The new field types are email address, phone number and complex field. The new field types are traditionally available on the forms tab and you can work with them when you edit form templates in docxf format. The main peculiarity of the newly added complex field is that it makes it possible to create unique fields for any user request. In other words, within this field you can insert other fields except for images and even add text. For example, Let's take a look at a real use case. You need to create a questionnaire to collect the email addresses of other corporate users. Using an ordinary text field, you can create a field where users can type the email address. However, if you insert a complex field, you can specify the corporate domain name and other users will need to type the usernames only. Another improvement in the only office form creator is the new field parameters. In text fields, 
Now you can enable the use of specific symbols and specify the required format. None, digits, letters, arbitrary mask for phone numbers, for example, and regular expression, for example, for email addresses. Besides, the newly added tag parameter allows you to work with fields in the automatic mode to simplify the process of form creation. All the new field parameters become available on the right side panel when you add a new text field or click an existing one. Now let's find out what's new in the only Office Document Editor version 7.2. When editing a text document, now you can use ligatures, special characters in a font that combine several characters into one. This makes it possible to work with new languages, for example, Bincoli or Sinhala, as well as makes for a more harmonious reading experience. You can configure various ligatures and choose among the standard, contextual, discretionary and historical types, or select the combo options. To access the corresponding option, go to the Paragraph Advanced Settings, click Font and select Ligatures. Another useful feature is the ability to insert and edit spreadsheets in your documents as OLE objects. In other words, now you can insert an Excel spreadsheet into a Word document and edit it within the OnlyOffice document editor. This feature is also available in presentations. To insert an OLE spreadsheet, access the Insert tab, click Table, choose Insert Spreadsheet and start working on your data. Navigation through the contents of your document is much easier now in version 7.2. The updated navigation panel is called Headings and offers new navigation options, making it easier to get to the required part of your document within a few clicks. To access the updated navigation panel, go to the View tab and select Headings. The updated OnlyOffice Document Editor comes with new spell checking options. Ignore words with uppercase and ignore words with numbers. These options are available on the redesigned Advanced Settings page. To configure spell checking, go to the File tab, open Advanced Settings and find Proofing. Here you can check or uncheck the required options. This also works in presentations. These were the most important features in the only Office document editor. Now let's take a look at spreadsheets. Starting from version 7.2, you can get and share links to the selected data ranges in your spreadsheets. When you use this feature, the link is automatically copied to the clipboard. You can share it with other users so that they can open the required data range with a few clicks. To access this feature, you need to select a data range in your spreadsheet, right-click it and choose Get link to this range from the context menu. The next improvement allows you to use the custom images as bullets in bulleted lists in your spreadsheets. You just need to add a text box, right-click it, choose Bullets and Numbering and click List Settings and select the New Image option in the Type selection. This also works in presentations. The updated OnlyOffice Spreadsheet Editor also makes it possible to switch the columns in rows in your diagrams and charts with a click. To do so, 
when working with the diagram, find and click the corresponding option on the right side panel. If you have to work with Macintosh files, we have good news for you. Starting from version 7.2, the only Office Spreadsheet Editor is compatible with the 1904 date system. That means that now you can open Macintosh Excel files without any problems. To enable this feature, you need to go to the File tab, find Advanced Settings and check the Use 1904 Date System box at the bottom. Now we can discover the new features in the OnlyOffice Presentation Editor. The newly added advanced settings allow you to place more precisely images, shapes, tables and diagrams within your slides. This is very useful for those who strive for perfection. To access the corresponding settings, insert any object, right-click it, then choose Advanced Settings from the context menu, find Placement and specify the values you need. Now let me say a few words about OnlyOffice plugins and their installation. Third-party plugins that extend the standard functionality of the OnlyOffice suite now can be automatically installed from a built-in plugin marketplace. Previously, it was only possible to install them manually by downloading the source code from GitHub and adding the plugin's repositories to the OnlyOffice folder, which was not very convenient for some users. Version 7.2 allows you to install and delete OnlyOffice plugins with a few clicks. You just need to access the Plugins tab on the top toolbar and click the Plugin Manager button. You will see a list of all available plugins with a short description. To install a plugin, it's necessary to click the Install button and the corresponding icon will appear on the Plugins top in a few seconds. To delete something, just click the Remove button. OnlyOffice Talks version 7.2 introduces new plugins for the OnlyOffice editors. One of them is Zoom. With this plugin, you can make audio and video calls right from the editor's interface for better productivity. For this purpose, just install Zoom from the built-in plugin manager and find its icon on the Plugins tab. Click and enter the required information on the left side panel to enjoy online video conferencing. The next useful, useful plugin for OnlyOffice Talks that is available starting from version 7.2 is MathType. It's an equation editor that allows you to write mathematical equations and chemical formulas in your documents. To access this plugin, you need to install it from the built-in plugin manager and click its icon on the plugins tab after installation. Now it's time to pay attention to some general features that you can find in all OnlyOffice editors. OnlyOffice Talks version 7.2 allows you to find any word or phrase in a more convenient way with a new search bar. When searching for something, you can see detailed search options and navigate through the search results on the left side panel. To perform a search, click the corresponding icon in the upper right corner Type what you are looking for and open the Advanced Settings panel. Here you will see some additional search options and all the search results. Another small but useful improvement is the ability to rename documents, spreadsheets, presentations and fillable forms right in the app interface. You just need to click the name of your file on the top toolbar and type a new name. 
when working with documents in OnlyOffice Talks. You can press the Alt button to see some useful tool tips in the form of shortcut buttons that allow you to quickly access the required tool, like copy-paste actions, font size, zoom options, etc. If you find this feature irritating, you can disable this alternative menu in version 7.2. To do so, go to the File tab, find Advanced Settings and uncheck the corresponding option. In addition to the standard talk mode, only Office Docs version 7.2 introduces a new interface theme Talk contrast, which is a bit darker and more well defined, so now it's more convenient to work with documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and fillable forms in talk environments. What's more, there is another new option, same as system, that allows you to quickly set the interface theme according to your system. To turn on the required mode, Open the View tab and click Interface Theme. Alternatively, you can switch the interface themes via Advanced Settings on the File tab. During this presentation, you have heard the phrase Advanced Settings several times, and this is not by chance. The fact is that only Office Talks version 7.2 offers a redesigned advanced settings page where all the features and options are located in a more convenient way. Only Office Talks version 7.2 is more accessible for users who speak different languages. In this release, we have added such new interface languages as Portuguese, spoken in Portugal, traditional Chinese, Basque, Malay, and Armenian. The latest version of OnlyOffice Talks introduces new hotkeys to enable special paste options in all three editors. You can, for example, paste formulas and text without formatting or keep the current source formatting. This was a short description of all the new features brought to you by OnlyOffice Talks in this release. You can download the latest version from our website. Just scan this QR code to access the download page. At the end of this presentation, I would like to tell you about what's new in OnlyOffice Desktop Editors version 7.2. The latest version of only Office Desktop Editors is already available for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. It comes with the majority of the improvements of only Office Talks version 7.2 and offers some unique features. Let's take a look at them. First of all, there is no minimum size limitation for application windows. Secondly, only Office Desktop Editors version 7.2 supports vector text printing on Windows and Linux, which significantly enhances the printing speed. It works only if the pages have no gradient fields. The newest version of the desktop app is available for various operating systems on our official website. You just need to scan this QR code and download the app. Thank you very much for your time. I hope this presentation has been useful to you and now you know more about version 7.2 and all the new features that you can find in this release. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We are social networks. Bye-bye.